guys and welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Pam. And for those, uh, for those of you that are subscribers or are, you are returning to watch another video, thank you so much for your support. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Christian Louboutin Pumpy Booty. So let's go ahead and get into this box. Now, of course, as you can already see, the box has been opened. Uh, I needed to verify that I actually received what I ordered. So, of course, I already opened it. But we'll go ahead and open it now. I purchased this booty from Neiman Marcus. They did not have my size um, on the Christian Louboutin website, so I had to purchase them from Neiman Marcus. So we have the Neiman Marcus paper in here. And on the inside of this box, we have this box. Let me move this one out of the way here. So we have this box. Give us some room. And it did have a little dent there, but the shoes were not damaged, so I was good with that but I'll probably still keep the box to display in my office somewhere. Now let's get on into this box to see the actual shoes. And we've got some more tissue paper here. And then once you get past all of that, you have the little bag with the uh, replacement heel tips. And you have the two dust bags for the shoes. They actually fit in size. And then the other one. And now, da -da -da -da, here is the booty. So to give you a description of the booty, it has the soft calfskin leather, and it has a round toe, the side zipper, and you can actually see there on the zipper it has the tongue. Looks like it zips and unzips very easily. And then we have the heel, which is a stiletto heel that is measured at 85 millimeters, which is a little over three inches, so not very high at all. But this is how it looks. It has tissue on the inside, so let's take that out. It was easy to unzip, but I'm struggling because I'm not able to. My hands are kind of slipping. But this is what it looks like on the inside. And then it has this beautiful red bottom. Red's my favorite color, so I absolutely love the red bottom. Now, most of you. <laughs> Uh, may be like me. Of course, I want to protect the red bottom because of, you know, the rough surfaces, dirt, all that good stuff. So this time I did purchase a sole protector. And I'll get to that in just a second. And this is the other shoe. It didn't have the paper insert like the other one. But these boots are gorgeous. And unlike my other red bottoms, uh, they are comfortable because they're only three, a little over three inches high. And you can see there. Has the Christian Louboutin in there and the size. 
Now the last shoe that I purchased, I purchased uh, the size 41 and a half, and it is literally perfect. So I did go up slightly for this shoe. So that is the pumpy booty. And to protect the sole, the red sole, I actually purchased sole guard. And uh, they send you three pairs. And this is what they look like to fit the bottom. Now, I have been skeptical about putting these on just yet because I saw another video of a young lady removing these from the bottom of her red bottoms. And um, the, the red lacquer came off and that absolutely frightened me. So I, I'm still debating as to whether or not I want to use them. But I think the pros outweigh the cons right now because concrete, rocks, dirt, will of course damage the bottom of the shoe and this will protect it from that um i'll just have to figure out you know wear and tear how long should i leave the sole guard on um i don't know if it was the force that she used to remove the sole guard why it, the some of the red lacquer came off um, but in the video, she wasn't upset because she was. She said that she was planning to uh, get the sole redone anyway. So, I don't know. I'm still debating about putting them on. But I did. Um, I saw these online, so I purchased them. And it's called uh, Soul Guard. But these are my new pumpy booties that I bought, uh, purchased for my birthday. And I am excited to wear them and not just wear them for 30 minutes because they're hurting my feet. I plan to wear these a little longer than that. But if you guys have any comments or any input about the Soul Bar, please leave me a comment, let me know. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Uh, I talk about travel, lifestyle, uh, my breast cancer journey, my faith in God. Uh, we talk about a little bit of everything on this channel, but the main thing is we like to have fun and uh, we like to talk about fashion. Oh, I love fashion, of course. Uh, but if you have a comment, like I said about the booty, or if you have a question you wanna ask me, please feel free to leave me a comment and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I want to thank you once again for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be, I have a couple videos coming out, so I'm still editing videos for my last trip on uh, the Valiant Lady Virgin Voyage, and while I was on that trip, I purchased a, a purse um, that I want to unbox. So stay tuned for the next video and I look forward to seeing you guys there.